Thank you for staying with us on The Pulse. Time now for the sport. And as Gifty intimated a couple of minutes ago, President Ekufuado has suspended Kujo Ban Ajman of the National Sports Authority um, as part of the investigations in the ongoing Australia visa fraud scandal. And that's what we are going to be looking at, some of the meanings and the permutations and what we should expect going forward. But just to recap, the Commonwealth Games started on the 5th of this month. It was supposed to be a place where Ghana was to exhibit her sporting credentials. But soon after it began, we got news that several people had impersonated journalists. And indeed, some journalists had been implicated in some visa fraud activities and some were deported. Others were also implicated from the angle of the Ghana Olympic Committee to suspended in the last 10 days. We had one uh, being, the latest being Kujoba Ajman, but before then, the Deputy Min Minister of Sports, Pius Hajide, also had been suspended. And so it seems that the president is cracking the whip on what was or has been a very disgraceful game where Ghana was able to get only one bronze, but a lot of international ridicule once again. Kwejo Ba Ajiman. In studio with me is Hans Mensa Ando Hans. The president, once again, you know, um, put, let's just say pushing the right buttons. Yes, early on, I must say. Um, for me, I'm one of those who are a bit skeptical. Yes, the initial moves are laudable, but it is consistent with what we've seen with previous regimes. Um, we go all the way um, back to 2011 after the all Africa Games in Maputo. Um, Mr. Walanyo Agra was fingered by the committee that was set up to, you know, probe happenings um, during that competition. He was actually found culpable of several breaches of the country's procurement laws. What happened? Um, after the 2014 FIFA World Cup, we had the sports minister and his deputy moved from the Ministry of Sport to the presidency. What happened? Nothing really happened. So. It's about what happens in the end. For now, I'm not too excited because it is consistent with what has happened in previous regimes. Now, Hans is doing a bumper piece that will be on myjournaline.com pretty shortly, looking at the history of some of these scandals, but not only that, but the responses of the respective governments in power. So like he says, this is not the first time we've seen a government make some moves that look promising where the investigations are concerned, but it's always the case of the end justifying the means. The biggest one was the Jamefer Commission. We had a whole nationally televised inquisitorial, and as they like to put it at the time, an adversarial body. They didn't have the power to prosecute, but they went into it. We all saw the rot that happened in Brazil. In the end, the 400-page document came to not. It's still on the shelves and it's gathering dust. None of it has been... Real quick, quick. And, I mean, I think that the biggest statement that a president could have made was um, to have taken the Jamaica Commission report and try to implement the recommendations. So that, that we don't start all for. over again. That probably could have, would have sent a message to the players at the ministry, those at the National Sports Authority, and what has happened in Australia could probably have been averted. Um, for the president to have stated categorically that a few months there's ago, a, exactly, unfortunately. the Zamefe Commission report was not on his radar, you know, it, it does puncture the confidence no, that so I would have So this is actually a slap in the president's face. Absolutely. That that, just a few months after he was asked at the meeting. Absolutely. Meet, uh, was it Songo who asked yes. that? Countryman Songo yes. asked him that and he said it's not on his radar. It's not on his radar. He hasn't been, you know... It's not something he's been thinking about now, much. So now you have to deal with this. Now you have to deal with it. You yes. know? So for me, if he had dealt with the Jamaica Commission, it would, have, it would have inspired confidence in all the moves that he's making early on. And so for, I, I'd like to see what happens in the end. Now, again, you can go way back into time and think about 2001 when Malamisa obviously um, found himself in court and in the end was jailed for that 46,000 US dollars that got missing and route to Khartoum. Um, then, you know, what has been said is that it was because he wasn't one of the own. Yeah. And by one of the own, I, I know you, you understand what I mean. Politically. Exactly. Politically, he didn't belong to the then NPP ruling government. And so um, I want to see what happens in the end. If it is one of the NPP's own, you know, standing in the witness box in a law court, 
it, it will inspire a lot of confidence. Yeah. So far, though, I mean, like, like many, many of the commenters or the commentators have said, the president is pushing the right buttons because some of the people that have been suspended are really, really staunch party people. Pius Hajide is one of, the, one of the most outstanding people when it comes to the MPP and canvassing, especially around the Volta region area. And so for him to have been suspended so openly and publicly sent a major statement. Also, Kujo Bajman's history of being a serious party man is not in question. He's a sort of a rising star on that side of things. And this was an appointment that was given as a reward for some um, his continuous work for the Akufuado government or candidate Akufuado during the elections and so on and so forth. But as a statement, you see states. Nana Kufuado on Thursday, April 12th, suspended from the office with immediate effect the chairperson of the board of the National Sports Authority, Honorable Kojo Ba Ajeman. This decision was communicated to the board chair by the vice president, Alaji Dr. Mahamadu Bahumia, on the 17th of April, following the absence from the jurisdiction of the president, who is attending the 25th Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in London, the UK. And just as in the cases of the suspension of the Deputy Minister for Youth and Sports, Pius Enyam, Enam Hajide, and the Acting Director General of the National Sports Authority, Honorable Robert Safferman, said the decision to suspend Kujo Bajman has been taken following preliminary investigations into the circumstances that led to the arrest of some 60 Ghanaians who had allegedly attempted to enter Australia by false pretenses at the 21st Commonwealth Games. The three officials, together with the President of the Ghana Olympic Committee, Mr. Benuno Mensa and the chef de mission, I think that's the wrong spelling, for the 2018 Commonwealth Games, Mr. Mohamed Sanun, are to assist the CID of the police service in the ongoing investigations into the matter. So, pretty big statements, but as usual, the, as people like to say, we Ghana we day, you know, and, and, the, and the, we can see. Yeah, the, the end justifies the means. We'll see how that pans <laughs> out. Hans Mensando, thank you very much. And as I thank said, you, Hans is doing a piece on a timeline of events about why so far most of us may be impressed with the initial moves, but we will not be confident yet and will not clap for the president yet because probably he shouldn't have given us an answer at the media press when he said that he does not, he basically does not give a hoot about the Jamaica Commission. Maybe if he had taken it seriously, he wouldn't have had egg on his face right now. And it's a slap in the face of the president at the moment. Maybe the best he can do is to make sure that this investigation goes according to plan. We'll be back with the Sports 8.30. More reaction from across the country on this bit of breaking news. I'm Gary Al Smith. We'll do that in a bit.